Was that Morgana? I would have assumed Teddy, but yeah, that thing fucking... What? 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 What an interesting series that is. I lost my needle for my bowl. Shit. I love you guys for understanding my references. Seriously, in any other place in the world, I'd just be sitting here like, um, there's no way we're ever going to connect. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> Dude, this weed is so fucking resiny, my God. I think my filters should come tomorrow, which will be nice. Pupes. Hold on, I'm gonna click that. Cheers, my love. I gotta click Morgana. Uh-huh. Yep. That one. Oh, but I also remember Teddy, equally horrifying. Cheers. The cat loaf might be trying to tell you something, Silver. My bong's clogged. I need to suck. Cindy White's the strain. Anybody curious? Dude, I did not understand any of Spaceballs when I was a kid. I don't remember even liking it when I was a kid. But watching it as an adult, I'm like, oh. And now I know why I didn't like it. I didn't fucking get any of it. <laughs> Is she watching? Meow. Oh, it's probably interesting to watch for a cat, honestly. The little character moving around the screen. Next level, lover. Oh, that's a weapon! Oh my god, who's- wait, we- we activated a bad guy, hold up. Sorry, B. Anyways, new weapon. Who's gonna be a clawed hand? We'll have no idea. I'm gonna guess a girl. That's all I got. I- I'm always wrong. You find a set of bladed brass knuckles. Looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads, Pocket. Oh, <gasps> Pocket?! Like our pocket? That'd be sick. That's a weird name. You think it's a DJ? Oh. That's the weird name. You think it's a DJ? Oh my god, is it a cat? It mewed. At your touch, the metal brings, the metal begins to stretch and grow. Oh my god, someone hurt a cat? We gotta throw hands, my dudes. I'm so happy. Offer hand to sniff. Consensual cats. The cat eyes you warily but allows you to come closer. Kitty. You find a phone number on its collar. You put it into your phone before he scampers off. Okay, so it is going to be a blade person. Maybe. I don't know. We saved a kitty, though. I hope no one fucking heard it. I'm going to have to beat a bitch. I just can't. We can't. I can't stand. <gasps> Oh my god, someone texted me. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with this phone number in his mouth. Can I guess? So I guess you found him? Thanks. If so, I was really worried. No problem! Now she goes, what? Why? What? Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. What? Let him out! Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Uh oh. His name is Killer? 
The cat's name is Killer? Did I just become text friends with somebody? I'm into this. <gasps> I think I missed a box. Or did I get it? I don't think I did. Oops. My bad. You mysterious fuck. Cha-ching. And some glue. Yum. Uh, let's sniff it, I guess. Don't do that. You need your brain cells. Maybe. Ooh. I wonder if that's going to be a secret level. Ooh, shit. Um... <laughs> Uh, this cash machine has two options. Liquidate or access? Oh, I just... Oh, liquid. Did it say liquid or did it say liquidate? Am I a fucking idiot? I might be an idiot. Next time, access, I guess. I don't know. I didn't know what to do. That was interesting and weird. Come at me, martini, bitch. I don't like... Uh, the, the club. That's my fear this time, I guess. Is the club? Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. The last dungeon, apparently, was my fear of change. You have deep pockets, right? Are you trying to touch me there? Because don't do that. Bitch, why? You're so... Uh, what are... No, uh, what the fuck? I'm being attacked by music all the time, and I'm gonna be honest, I fucking love music. I don't understand this. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, fuck yes, Nate. That's the best on a Friday, though. Are you working from home? Or do you have to drive now? I hope you don't get stuck in rush hour, if so. That was the best, getting able to, being able to like, fuck, oh, you do? Fuck yes, dude, fuck that. When I still had to go to a place of work, I remember getting out before rush hour and like, never walking faster to my car ever. Like, I would be speed walking because I knew if I got on the road before 4.30, I could beat all that shit. Um, and that was importante to me. Oh. Shit. Whoa, I guess at least one interior decorator really liked Valentine's Day. So dating you, I kind of wish it were Valentine's Day. I'd go overboard too. Mm -hmm. What's the most important part of Valentine's Day for you? I want to plan ahead. I want to fuck. I guess that's affection. Uh huh. All right, massage oils and rose petals. Got it. To be honest, I can't wait. I wish it were Valentine's Day now. Oh shit, we haven't offered him a gift in a while. I work for my personal PC, so I just close the virtual computer and start playing. God, that's fucking nice, though. That's so nice. Okay. Um, a camera. Chocolate. Glittery eyeshadow. He does wear nail polish. He might be into makeup, too. A potted plant. A racing game. Silver, probably a bad idea for a vampire, although that'd be funny. Surprisingly smooth for being homemade. Some vodka. Um, alcohol. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, an artisanal. And just for me, you know how to spoil a boy. <laughs> oh, well. At least we can spend this moment together, here and now. I'm all pumped. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Kendo. I have to say, I, I, I don't know why we were talking about it in chat, but someone brought up Sid the Sloth, and I was like, oh, this dude's totally Sid the Sloth. And he became Sid the Sloth, quickly. I don't know what happened. I think because he's kind of a doofus. Did I miss any dunge? Mm, no. Okay. great it's fucking fun game <laughs> like to be honest it like the dialogue is kind of corny but the rest of it is pretty darn fun i'm having a great time with this game let's change let's see who else we have to level up seven seven's fun thank you kendo i was doing my i love ice age ice age was one of my favorite movies when that thing came out my sister and i watched the shit out of it 
Sid the Sloth is like in me forever. Uncle Fungus? <laughs> Those were such cute movies though. I really enjoyed them. Wasn't Queen Latifah the voice of the lady mammoth at one point? I don't know. Alcohol scary, guys. To be honest, I did grow up with a good fear of alcohol, but I think that's appropriate. Not today, you son of a bitch. This is a huge dance floor. Like, why are there no people here? Why do you have all these dance floors in your basement? And all this sentient alcohol, bro. What have you been into? <gasps> you and your music notes! I love music! Why won't you love me? The comic actors are everything. Yeah. Sometimes, honestly, I've talked about this a lot, but I... I almost prefer animation because I feel like actors, even, I mean, voice actors and actors, I feel like they get a lot, they feel, they're better when they're not on camera. When they're not having to pay attention to like the whole situation going on, they're fucking hilarious. Some of them are really, really good voice actors. What is this? A hangout? Seven releases a long exhale as if he's been holding his breath. You sit together quietly on one of the benches. Mm. Can't see that many stars here in Verona Beach anymore. Too much light pollution. When I was growing up, I loved stargazing at the constellations. I even had a little telescope. You like science? Hmm. Both the science and the myths, I guess. Giant balls of gas. <laughs> Who were also heroes and creatures. What? All right. I tracked my favorite constellation every night. The Pale Dancer, an old goddess of death and victory. Uh. They actually get to be a different person, exactly. Like, without, like, no makeups involved, they are literally, they can be a different animal, a different person, a different thing, exactly. Like, it unlocks something creative in them, and I've, some actors, I think, are just phenomenal voice actors. Um, then we moved to Seoul, and I couldn't see constellations anymore. I watched music videos and said, let's go stargazing, bitch. If you want, maybe if we went to the beach at night sometime, we could see more, but we'll be eaten. Little telescope with giant balls. Of gas. <laughs> How fucking romantic. Oh, he doesn't like anything. Did I make any more gifts? Oh, I, I did. Um, I gave him a necklace. Fuck. You love yourself. Maybe to take selfies. Whoa, it's even better than my phone camera. Intense. <laughs> Even just this little rest has recharged my batteries, I think. Let's get back to it. You're fucking welcome. Seven stands and stretches into his energy blade. You feel his warmth in the electric crackle. <laughs> when do we get to be scissor sisters with the lady blade? We fucked her twice and she leaves both times. She has a stalker ex-boyfriend. She was literally in a relationship with a brother and sister. Broke up with one of them. Stayed in a relationship with the other one. And now we're stuck in this love triangle with them. I don't know. It's too complicated for me. I don't really want anything to do with that bitch, but I'll level her up, you know. But I don't, like, creepy shit. Like, I think he might kill us. I don't know. A break from what? We just got here, you lazy hoe. You both flop into seats, relaxing. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't know. How about a plant? Oh my God, why did that work? <gasps> Thank you, Lighthawk. I like it a lot too, it's very bright. For me, ooh, I feel so, for me? Ooh, I feel so special. I'm rather fond of the VIP section in La Rosa, where I really started getting to know you. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to have bottle service, and it smells like monsters. But at least we got into this VIP room by our own skills, not by buying our way in. Maybe I should co host contests at La Rosa. Who's Herman who gets to be a VIP? Yeah, maybe. Though, I would have to make sure I don't win, even if it's fair. God, you talk a lot. I think that's about it. While we fight the next round, I'll think about it. That's my bad. 
dude, and I let, oh my god, it's a giant hand. Um, wow. I hit heal one millisecond too late, but that's okay. My foot itched. Real bad. Ugh. Sacrifice a life for a heal itch. <sighs> Owie. One? Fuck off. That's okay. Cool new levels. I like these levels. They're scary. That hand is terrifying. I don't like that. Uh-oh. You sleep heavily, and when it's morning, your eyelids feel sticky, like they don't want to open. Someone has farted upon your pillow. You remember today is your birthday. Another year closer to death, at least. I'm not alone. I'm on an adventure. I'm learning new things. We're going on an adventure! You think about how scared you used to be of everything, and you can't help smiling as you get up. You find a package outside your door, waiting for you. It's shit. Inside is a birthday cake from Jesse, your cousin who wants to fuck you. It seemed to be freshly baked just this morning. You're about to cut a slice when there's a knocking at the door. Eat the entire cake first. Thank you. I think it fits quite well as well. It's kind of an accident. Um, bitch, what? Answer it. You longingly set the cake aside and go to answer Hi, the door. Happy birthday. I, uh, Worst nightmare. A friend. Nope, that's okay. Absolutely not. I'm naked in bed. It's my birthday. Hey, hey. Couldn't resist. I'm by to see you. I thought we'd eat cake and get a, give you a couple of little presents. Nothing too intense. They're going to wobbly H my ass. Speak for yourself. I'm always special. It's a tradition for the birthday girl to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. What? <laughs> you up for it, Sunder? Uh... Sir, I won't have any watching my uh diet. But I'd be happy to cut first. Help cut? Help cut. Hmm. I can read. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. Let's fucking do this. This is weird, right? Sid the Sloth and Stranger Danger up for little presents. Ugh, run! <laughs> Zeph, right? My cousin literally left a fucking freshly baked cake at my door and then waited for me to get it to like, I didn't, none of that makes sense. I hate it. I'm glad I sharpened a bit this morning. He jerked off. Sunder feels cool and calm in your hands. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Mmm. Oh. That special birthday cake flavor, so vanilla, so sugar. You sure you don't want any Sunder? It's so fresh and moist. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sure. I've been on this diet so long, it's not even a temptation. <coughs> but now's a good time to give Katie my little gift. Here. Zip. Sunder hands you a small box. Inside, you find a small framed photo of him. Thanks. I don't know what to say. I know this place is Jesse, so I thought I'd give you something to make it yours. It's you. I love it. Pirate Baby Shark, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. Thank you so much for that follow. I don't. I love it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to say that, but I'm glad you did, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you think of me when you see it. <laughs> I'm not sure what else she would think of. Anyway, here, I got you a little something too. Zip. A phoenix cap recipe? Wait, is it the head of a phoenix where I get to be a bird? <laughs> Jesse gives you an envelope. You find it. You open it to find assembly instructions for a phoenix cap.
You found holy energy, whatever the fuck that is. A blessing, soft and warm. It's a kit! That looked like little, looked a little dorky, looked a little dorky anime, but it sounded useful for the dunge. Can't wait to make it. Good, I almost went with socks or a whetstone. Oh my God. Is that like buying me a pocket pussy? A whetstone? I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Is that their holy energy? Whoa, brave. Whetstones are really personal, man. I'm saying. I agree. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting Katie use one on me, but I wouldn't assume. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay, I get the message. Well, I didn't get one. Crisis averted. Well, Katie, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats! I hate this. I'm glad you shared your birthday with us here in Verona Beach. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been so much nicer here since you moved to town. La Rosa's way more fun. Anyway, have an excellent day, beautiful. I hope to see you soon. See ya. Sunder gives you a lingering kiss on the cheek on your way out. Oh. You smell like sandwiches, that's nice. You close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. Um, burning down those decorations. On my way home from what? On your way home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold and wrapped in a ribbon. An attached note reads, For Katie. You carry it inside. You wake up to a tapping on your window. Knock three times. If I'll see you in the morning. You see a white bird on your windowsill and open the window. The bird hops inside. It's going to kill me. Pretty human. I love you. Thank you. He does a funny little bow. Yes, Stalker McProud Boy still shows up everywhere. However, uh, at the end of the last time we were playing this, two days ago, because last night, weird stream. Um, we were on a date with Seven, the Korean pop star, and Stalker Boy showed up, and Korean pop star boy like told him off violently, and it was pretty hot. He ran away. So I don't know. He might not come around anymore. We'll see. Lil White Crow does a fine, funny bow. Bow. Bow? Phone. Um, you want my phone? The bird dips said in agreement. Uh, put the phone near him. Quicker than the eye can follow, he poked a number into your contacts. I wonder if bird beak. Does anyone have a bird? Do bird beaks actually work on a touch screen? I'm curious. It's like a fingernail. The number looks familiar. You can't even remember where, though. Nevermore. Okay, bye. He hops back out through the open window and out into the sunlight. Right? It's like keratin, like hair. Your hair doesn't activate a phone. It's like the same shit. I feel like most birds would eat the phone. Mm hmm. Same. You're left alone with a mysterious number in your phone. Text it. Finally, I've been waiting. Rowan? Of course it's me, Rowan. Come to my house when you have a moment. I have a use for you. Oh, right there, Daddy! They hang up. Most birds on someone's familiar, though. Word on that one. Although they get pretty darn close to people, don't they? I think birds are, like, really close to their owners. Or get that way most of the time. I don't know. I've, I've, mm. Jesus Christ. You text too much. Um, suck some blood stains. You're good velvet. Uh, oh, I know. What a pain in the ass. Just thinking of you. Thinking. I mean, I just wanted to talk to someone, you know? Message anytime. Everything is too much work, you know? The dunge, avoiding vamp hunters, the club. Gotta relax. Wanna chill in the park sometime? More like heat it up. Yeah, girl! <laughs> what the fuck? 
for being 200 years old, his spelling is horrific. I have a big decision to make, and I can't figure out what to do. I'm here at Paradise Lost, hoping the cats will keep me calm. I'll be there! What the fuck? Okay. Oh, there's Eric. Shut shit, we mentioned the Stalker Fest. I heard it's a special day today. I guess that means your trip is halfway over. I guess it's also your birthday or something. Okay. What is this texting style? I'm never going to talk to you again. You annoy the shit out of me. Who the fuck is... Hi, is this Katie? Sorry to bother you, but I really need help. I don't know who else to ask. I'm scared. S. Who is this? A worried weapon person. <laughs> a stranger. You can call me S, I guess. But one of my friends has gone missing and nobody's even looking for her. Do you think the weapon kidnapper is killing people now? I hope not. Sad face, sad face. I think I know where they might have gone, but I really don't feel safe going there. Can you meet me? I'll explain more in person. Well! I'll be at the corner of Mercutio and Art Atwood, near the museum every night. See you there, I hope, for my friend's sake. I'm gonna be murdered. I'm gonna be mur- Oh my god, they put it on my desk. It's on my desk! I'm unhappy. Oh, what's happened to the text of my game? Um. Okay. We'll ignore that for now. <laughs> it was it was very mysterious and dramatic. I honestly just didn't know what was going on. New outfit for the run. We'll see. Um, what have I Purple. That's sick. Thank you. It seemed very immediate. I think we need to take a break. My ass cheeks are getting numb from sitting. I don't even know. Let's take a break, y'all. Let's take a break. Oh yeah, we were gonna cheers, hold on. Mine thing's clogged, I need to burn it through for a second. Music, there you are. I had a needle. I don't know where it went. Little bastard. Hold up. It's hella clogged. This is not okay for Faded Friday, for fuck's sake. Dude, it's so nasty. It's so like it's just like really goopy weed, I think. It's just clogging it up really fast. Fresh the sticky icky icky. Woo woo. <laughs> Idiot. The elastic, I've heard people have a lot of good luck with that elastic, with elastic band type headsets. For me, it's still, it's like if anything touches my head in any way, shape, or form. I'm way too sensitive, but I tried them. They're great. And for some people that aren't like as migraine prone as me, they've worked great. I've heard really good things about that type of headset. They're the type, for those that don't know, it's like, uh, there's the hard band, but it hovers above your head. And then there's this soft, thick band that actually sits on your head and holds that like tension above your head. Next stop, winter clothes. We'll see about that. Still clogged. Fucking Christ. I gotta get a needle. Hold on. So annoying. I my sewing kit under my desk. <laughs> Someday. I know. The cold hasn't, like, caused me physical, like, like a migraine. Well, it has. I don't know. I'll do it eventually. When I'm rich and famous. You'll know I've made it because I'll buy a winter jacket. <laughs> That's terrible, I know. I'll be an adult. I bought myself new shoes last year for the first time in a very long time that weren't like running shoes. That was a big step for me. I still wear tank, I mean, I'm not shitting you. I'm wearing a tank top right now that I've had since I was 16 years old. I'm real bad about that shit. Cheers. better. 
<clears throat> excuse me. Anywho, um, I think that's just a date. I was supposed to go somewhere. I want to go somewhere wherever the cat is. That's. I want to go on the date with a cat. <clears throat> the ears and headband get very uncomfortable for me after a short while, and and most just don't seem to be a good size for my head. Take your one size fits all and shove it up your butthole. I feel that so spiritually though. That's the one thing I miss is I can't wear my fucking ears. Like there's, you have to basically have ears on a separate thing if you're gonna have earbuds, and that sucks. Paradise Lost, where's the cat? Hmm. I don't know, we'll start this way and just work our way over. This is a pain in the dick person. I love you, Sammy, how are you, love? You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. Then they give you a brief nod. <sighs> oh, that was a weird noise. Thank you. I suppose you want me to invite you in for tea because people do that. No, thanks. Good. I was going to go look for an herb on the mountain. Crowley. Crowley? Crowley. Crowley? Crowley. Mm. People with small heads hate the Seal Series head series. Headsets, apparently, but I got a pretty big noggin. I don't have a huge head. I think it's because my thick ass hair. I mean, I don't have a small head by any means, but I also have thick hair on top of it, and that like adds definitely adds width to my head. So I kind of have the small same problem, a little. Crowley thought you might want to help. You? The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. Your bird did call me pretty. Crowley is a crow. Crowley's a crow. Pretty bird. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Pretty bird. Crowley bobs his head, clicking his beak. I got nothing. Pretty human. Pretty human? You're a pretty human. Thanks, bitch. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. I'd enjoy a hike. Yes. It's settled then. They start walking off towards the hills. Sammy, you probably have the same problem I have. I have really small ears. And if they don't like fit tightly inside your ear because you're either too small or too big, they'll just fall out. I had the same problem. It was that or they were like so tightly in my ears I got headaches. You walk together along a narrow trail in silent companionship. Ooh, pretty. Here, Alice once, we still don't know who the fuck Alice is. Alice once found Laurel Sumac and Black Sage here somewhere. Um. Since the hike is over, uh, Listen, don't get any wild ideas. I need you to do something, please. Just rest here, right on this rock. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't want to get in the way. Then don't, I'll handle this, stay put. Okay. 